Well, good morning, everyone. I'm here just to introduce our next woman that we are gonna be hearing from. We're just doing these brief little five minute words um, of encouragement, hearing from women who are just like you and me, who are being self-isolated right now, who are quarantined, and truly what this is, is what is God teaching you? How are you remaining steadfast in your faith? How are you not allowing the wave of fear that is really just taking over the world at this time to take over you? Like, what are you doing to combat that? Because these women are living in scripture. This is, this is really all they're doing. And so what they're here to encourage you with and encourage me with is here's where God has me. Here's what God is teaching me and showing me right now in this time. So today I want to introduce to you Jane because that's who we are going to hear from um, in just a couple seconds. And I just so appreciate Jane. She is just such a dear young woman. And I love that she has been given a word from God uh, from the Old Testament. And I know what she is going to share with you is going to meet you right where you are, just like it did me. So Without further ado, let's hear from Jane and all the wonderful things that God is speaking and teaching to her. Hi, Becoming Community. My name is Jane. I am currently in the northern part of Thornton, Colorado, living from a suitcase at my mom's house. Um, I'm sure similarly to a lot of you, my life has kind of been thrown up into the air these last couple weeks. Um, I'm in my senior year of college and I also work at a high school. And so you know, going from a life of go, 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 always with people, jam packing my schedule to this kind of mandated social isolation is a really weird and hard adjustment. Um, Maybe similarly to some of you, I started this whole thing actually pretty riddled with anxiety. Um, It was very uncertain to me. I've never lived through anything like it. And I had just a lot of questions and not knowing how this whole ordeal was going to affect my life. And so, Man, God plucked me right out of that after a couple of days of obsessively refreshing the news and um, just feeling anxious in my core. Um, God was just like, man, Jane, this is not how I want you to live. This is not what my presence feels like. And so yesterday I had the conviction to just spend the day from sunup to sundown, fasting and praying. Um, First of all, just for healing, I want healing for our world. I know that a lot of people are feeling that same anxiety that I felt, and also there's just sickness, and um, you know that's just part of this fallen earth that we live in, but God is a God of healing, and so I wanted to spend the day kind of just praying for that, and then I also had two major things on my mind, and the first was, now that I'm adjusting to this brand new schedule, what does that look like? How can I best honor God from this bedroom? Um, Because I don't know how long I'm going to be here. And I want to make sure that I'm still doing that well and with wisdom. Um, And, you know, I was just like, do I kind of keep going and keep working and trying to learn more and absorb more? Or do I lean into this, you know, kind of feeling of like an open refresh button that God is giving me? Like, do I lean into the opportunity to rest, which I don't get very often in my life. And so I wanted to pray for that. And then also just for my anxiety, I just wanted to feel him and I wanted to feel God's presence and that assurance like I normally have. And so Ecclesiastes 1 really stood out to me. And so I wanted to read verses 3 through 10 to you guys. So it says, what does a person gain for all his efforts that he labors at under the sun? A generation goes and a generation comes, but the earth remains forever. The sun rises and the sun sets. Panting, it returns to the place where it rises. Gusting to the north, turning to the south, turning, turning goes the wind, and the wind returns in its cycles. All the streams flow to the sea, yet the sea is never full. To the place where the streams flow, there they flow again. All things are wearisome, more than anyone can say. The eye is not satisfied by seeing or the ear filled with hearing. What has been is what will be, and what has been done is what will be done. There is nothing new under the sun. Can one say about anything, look, this is new. It has already existed in the ages before us. Um, The following subsections in my Bible say, the limitations of wisdom, the emptiness of pleasure, the emptiness of possessions, the relative value of wisdom, and... (laughs) 
for me, this was a huge answer to prayer because, man, it's really saying, like, what you do is futile. And though you do have responsibilities that are good and we should steward those well, um, there is just this importance in rest. And I think that for me, moving closer to God looks like moving and leaning into rest. Um, And so that was huge. And then also it says there's nothing new under the sun. And so God isn't looking down on this earth and just saying, what do I do? This is chaos. You know, he doesn't feel that same sense of uncertainty that a lot of us are feeling. He is sovereign and he has seen it before and he's brought us through it in times past. And so this brought so much comfort to me. And so I hope that you all stay well, you know, stay aware, wash your hands, but also just really lean into this opportunity to rest and to just kind of sit in the quiet and in the stillness. Um, I think this is an awesome opportunity for a lot of us who fill up our schedules to just spend some good time with the Lord um, and to learn from Him. So I hope to see you all soon until we can be together physically. Um, Just I pray that you are all, you know, taking advantage of this time and that you're able to engage in some sense of community and fellowship anyway. So stay well. I'll see you all soon.